Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here, and welcome to another episode of Mod Library. This one, ah, this one's really cool. This one is a Lord of the Rings total conversion for Mountain Blade. That's right, it, ah, let me just load up the game. You gotta see this one. So, restore game, we'll load up my, my current game. I'm um, quite a few hours in here. And the war just started. So you start the game about a month before the war begins, at least in my experience. I don't know if it's a random time frame. But you start the game, and you have a chance to prepare yourself. Now, there's lots of factions to choose from. I chose the Men of the Dale. Let me see. Where did I start? I started way... That's Minas Tirith. A little confused. Everything you can see, the map is monstrously large. All right. Here we go. I started up here because I wanted to have... Or, or orcs. I wanted to have dwarves on my side as my foot infantry. So you've got Erebor here. This is a dwarven stronghold. The men of the Dale and then the men of the lake here. And you can choose the side you are and it changes, well, one, how strong your side is to begin with. You're kind of your standing faction and what your character looks like. Dwarves, of course, look like dwarves. Let's just pop over here. I'm kind of cheating around a bit so I can see what everybody looks like. Uh, approach the halls. Got the crazy dwarven door there. The dwarven halls. And you've got every one of the locations are custom made to look like what they should. Now, this is based on the books, not the movie. But there are some areas where you'd be like, that really reminds me of the movie. That's very inspired by. Which I don't have a problem with. I Watching the last movie. It's the reason I wanted to play this. is Because I just recently watched the uh, the newest movie. Uh, the Hobbit. So, one of the cool things is every faction has its own items. So we're going to talk to this dwarven blacksmith. I want to request some items. And they'll have items that are only sold by that faction. So, dwarven shields. Now, dwarves can't ride uh, horses, but they do have the best items in the game. They have some of the best equipment in the game. And, of course, in this game, unlike some other Lord of the Rings mods for Mountain Blade, this actually limits you in what you can wear. So you're not going to find a human wearing orc armor, and you're not going to find a human walking around in dwarven a dwarven chess piece. Now, the hat and the gloves are fine, but yeah, you're not going to be able to wear uh, very short man's clothes. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump into here real quick and show some of the economy. Instead of having normal money, they've replaced it with a respect system, and respect changes based on the the organization of the faction that you're talking to. So if I'm in Gundor, I'll have Gundor respect for doing quests, for helping them out in battle, and then I can uh, acquire weapons and armor using that respect. So let's pop out of here. So these two may use the same type of currency, the same respect, but you're not going to find the same in, say, the Elven Lands or the, uh, Ro uh, the Rohirrim. I think that's how you say it. Rohan, Rohirrim. Not really sure. I haven't read the books, so I don't know all the background. But let's pop over to Minas Tirith. I'm going to cheat my way over here. Pop in. I think there's a battle going on right here. You know what? Let's jump into a battle. We'll show some of the combat, and then I'll show some more of the, uh, the world space. But the war goes on without you. So this is my entire army. This is actually a lot. Oh, there's, there's Minas Tirith. Nice. The White City. Everybody charge. Once the war kicks off, you're going to have a lot of troops running around, and the battles are huge. This is actually one of the smaller ones. Who are we fighting here? A bunch of orcs back there and goblins, and some looks like the men from the south. Ouch. Ah, get off my back. Get off my back. Let's go fight some, some of the goblins and get a look at them. So if you've ever wanted to have the large-scale Lord of the Ring battles, this is probably the best mod for it that I've played, at least. I know there's a couple other Lord of the Ring ones, but this is the only total conversion that I've seen that's finished to this level. I mean, this is completely playable. It has tons of places to explore. Let's go ahead and get on the ground and do some ground fighting. We've got him on the run. Run, you goblin bastards, run. I'm pretty good with a bow. There is a morale system that I don't remember being in the original Lord of the Rings. Ow. Mountain Blade. What the hell? Come here. Get up, I dare you. Or you're dead. Excellent. 
It has a morale system that'll have troops retreating and cowering like that, making it really easy to hit them. I've turned off all the hit, all the statistic updates that pop up in the left because they were filling my screen in the battle. There we go. We won. We've chased them off. For the White City. Oh, there's one left. Come on, guys. Finish them off. Finish the job. Excellent. No, I don't want to retreat. And every faction looks different based on where you get your troops from. And they level up, they become their own units. So you've got the Footmen of Gondor. Uh, my guy is the Men of the Dale, which you can totally tell your people from theirs. There we go. A few of these guys have been with me since the beginning, so they've leveled up quite a bit, like the Merchant here. All right, so let's get out of here. You're very welcome, Commander. We rescued a Rohan skirmisher. I'll take that guy. And we'll capture this skirmisher and sell him to one of the cities. Now, loot has changed. Now, you're no longer going to be able to loot because you can't wear orc armor and orc weapons. There's no reason to loot them. Nobody wants them. So what you'll get is this scrap metal that can be traded for respect points. So there's no loot all button. That was one thing I would love to see the uh, the mod author come up with is a loot all button. But you can trade these into anywhere for respect points, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so uh, you've already seen Minas Tirith. We can go ahead and go inside there and show the level of detail that this mod author has brought to the table. Let's go to the let's go to the Citadel and walk out. Oop, that's downstairs. I want to go upstairs. I want to go to Main Square. Climb to the top level. There we go. So there's the tree that's dead until a rightful king takes the throne. Just the level of detail. And they've set up a system where you can turn this off in the options, but you can explore the cities and that's how you find who you can talk to. How massive this building actually is. You can look all the way down there. And the shadow growing over Mordor. All right, so let's go ahead and leave. And pop into... Hmm. Let's go here. I can't wait to fight this place in Siege. Or better yet, let's find Helm's Deep. Because that's where everybody wants to fight. There we go. Helm's Deep. Let's cheat over here. And go inside and take a look around. Approach the fortress. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Oh, this is cool. So imagine as the war goes on, you can't, as a player, siege a city directly. NPCs have to start the siege and then you help with the siege same So what happens is once a faction gets weakened enough once you've won enough battles for that faction or they've won it on their own There is a faction rating that you could find underneath the quest tab That will tell you all right this faction has hit about 2,000 anything less than 2,000 and factions will start sieging cities and outposts Once the war has begun doesn't work until after the war begins. And we can take a look at that report. So the reports. Oh yeah, it's not under quest, it's under reports. Reports, and then go faction strength. And you can scroll through the factions, and anyone that's about at 2,000 will begin to siege, and then that's when you have these massive battles. And I can't wait to have a battle here. Here, the Black Gates, um, of course, Gondor, the Rohan settlements that are up on top of the hills that you see in the movies. Uh, there's a lot of places here, a lot of places that I don't recognize and I'm sure are out of the books that a lot of fans would get a lot more out of than I am. But I am having a ton of fun with this mod. So if you enjoyed this mod library, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe here to this channel for more modding goodness. Download this one. The link is down in the description below. It's totally worth it if you're looking for a good Lord of the Rings game with an epic scale. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.